<laughs> one big boy big neighborhood boy. Matt Barnes in the neighborhood man Matt did you have a lot of teams that came after you when when it was about that time when before you resign or yeah there was you know I kind of think I made you know not to say because I already had a little name but kind of reinvented myself again this right. season like like I've done so many other seasons and uh, there were teams after me but you know my heart is in LA you know right, LA is my second home and I think it's more meaningful for me because I played for the Clippers in 2003, 2004 mm-hmm. when we were terrible. We won, you know, my first team, we won 20-something games. And now to kind of come full circle and kind of make our own path and my, my career to come full circle so for, for us to all meet back up again, you know, I like to ride this wave out until I'm done. How many how many teams came at you, though? Uh, was, we, it tempt, we, was anything tempting? Yeah, I mean, th- there was definitely more money. Oh, you know, man. I still feel, you know, even though it's, it's a blessing to do what I do and make the money I make, whether it's a minimum or not, but, you know, I still feel I'm underpaid. You know, right, you right, put right. my numbers against guys that are getting 20, 30 million, and what I do on the court, there's still no comparison. So I'm, I'm going to show all those people this season that. But I feel the same way in radio. You, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you know, so. Too? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, right, they, they cut me. So, uh, you know, it's just, it's a business. Um, like I said, my heart was here. There's more money elsewhere. But, you know, Doc and I got to talking early on that, you know, he believed in this team and I was going to be a key part of that. And, and you know. So I stayed. Were the Lakers were the Lakers one of those teams? Yeah, we. I never personally talked to the Lakers. They reached out to my agent, but I mean, with the, and this is always with all due respect because people don't understand. Lakers are my favorite team still. You know, mm-hmm. I grew up a Laker mm-hmm. fan. It was a dream come true to be a Laker. But Mike Brown just messed that whole thing up for me. So I would never. <laughs> just the, the, Tell the us taste how you was really so feel. bad. But you got to understand, being in L.A. and him dogging me the way I did, all the heat I had to take, and it was really because if he let me play, I would have been fine. But right, I kept right. Getting, Which we yeah, see. I get yanked in and out, and he puts restrictions on my shot attempts and all this kind of be. Yeah, so it's just like after going through all that in this city, I can't do it no Let more. Let me ask you this, man. When you knew that Mike Brown, do you do you throw like a fuck Matt, Mike Brown party at, when, he, <laughs> when, he, when he was leaving? I just think he knows that he sees that look on my face through the TV. Right. You know oh, what I mean? Like, because he's at home right now, but he'll be back in Cleveland. But he knows when he it's sees cold me. It's cold out there, a, too, a, Jeff. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a fuck you face all day. As it should be. Hey, you got him back, though, because he's got to coach Andrew Bynum now. So oh, you, yeah. that karma <laughs> came back around for I him. I know, but they got, some, they got some talent out there, man. Hilarious. The, 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 the Cavs picked up some talent. They Hilarious. Be right. I, like when you, I like when you tell jokes. <laughs> this dude is hilarious. Yeah, you know, yeah, they, they got some talent out there. This dude is good. Matt Barnes in the neighborhood, you guys. Check him out. I think he's doing stand up at the comedy store. <laughs> the comedy store. Yeah, beautiful day in the neighborhood, big boy big neighborhood. Boy.